Let us understand reverse central dogma with a simple example. So this is HIV virus. The genome is RNA. How this virus with a genome of RNA infects humans with a genome of DNA? This genome of virus should integrate into the host genome in order to replicate. How this happens? As we have central dogma of biology, the DNA is transcribed to RNA and that is translated to protein. And this is the general flow of biological information in all organisms. The exceptions are retroviruses or viruses with RNA as genome. Here the viruses should make this DNA from RNA. The process is called as reverse central dogma as it makes DNA from RNA, not in the usual way, from DNA to RNA. This is called as reverse central dogma as the reverse is happening from RNA, DNA is synthesized. This process is also called as reverse transcription. As you see, this the formation of RNA from DNA is called as transcription. The reverse is happening here. DNA is free, therefore called as reverse transcription. It is discovered by Baltimore and Temin, therefore also called as Teminism. Now let us see the enzyme behind this reverse transcription. The enzyme involved is reverse transcriptase, an enzyme with three activities. It has polymerase activity and also nucleus activity. Let us understand with a simple example. Suppose this is the RNA of the virus. As we know, during reverse transcription, this RNA, suppose this is the enzyme, used as a template for the making of a DNA or cDNA. Complementary DNA is synthesized by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. Now this is an RNA-DNA hybrid. So the first activity is RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. So this DNA strand is synthesized using this RNA template. So RNA-dependent DNA polymerase is the first activity of reverse transcriptase. Now this is having both RNA and DNA. This RNA should be cleaved. The second activity of reverse transcriptase is nucleus activity or riponuclease activity. It can cleave this RNA. So the second activity is RNA's activity or riponuclease activity. In order to integrate into the genome of the host, this cDNA should be double stranded. So the same enzyme makes the second strand using this DNA template. Here the activity is DNA dependent DNA polymerase. So reverse transcriptase has three activity. First one, during reverse transcription, it acts as RNA dependent DNA polymerase. Then it cleaves out the RNA strand by its nucleus activity or RNA's activity. And the third activity, it forms the second DNA strand by DNA dependent DNA polymerase activity. Now let us see the antiretroviral medications or reverse transcriptase inhibitors that is commonly used to treat HIV and other retroviral diseases. First one is acidothymidine. It is a thymidine analog. Its incorporation prevents addition of further nucleotides, thus causes chain termination, thus prevents viral replication inside the cell. Let us see. So this is RNA. So reverse transcriptase will form DNA using this RNA template. So this drug it is a thymidine analog. Whenever this analog adds to this growing chain, chain termination occurs. Thus, short chains or partial chains are formed, thus blocking the viral replication. The second drug is nevirapine. So, this drug binds directly to the enzyme and changes its conformation or changes its active site, blocking its polymerase activity. So as you see, this is the polymerase activity site and this nevirapine is close to that site. It alters the binding of DNA and RNA to this active site, thus blocking the active site so that reverse transcriptase enzyme may not be functional. It loses its polymerase activity. So these are the most common antiretroviral medications that is used to treat HIV and other retroviral infections. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.